now let us talk about the treatment of visual lismanesis treatment okay treatment of visual lismanesis or kala azar okay first general consideration general considerations we have already discussed that uh, in kala azar they due to the bone marrow dysfunction there is pancytopenia and in pancytopenia also uh, the anemia uh, manifest as uh, in the early course of the illness so if there is anemia blood transfusion should be done and other comorbid conditions other comorbid conditions should be managed promptly conditions should be managed promptly the treatment of visual is managed is very complex is complex why it is complex because uh, the optimal dose drug and duration vary with endemic area that means uh, in different endemic areas drug is different dose is different and duration is different okay why it is complex because the optimal optimal drug dose and duration vary with endemic area okay and second is even if the treatment is completed there is chance of relapse there is chance of relapse and this relapse mostly occurs uh, within 6 months of the treatment okay second is despite completing completing recommend recommended treatment recommended treatment some patient experience some patients experience relapse relapse okay mostly within six months mostly within six months so prolonged follow-up is recommended so prolonged follow-up is recommended okay talking about the drugs use pentavalent antimonial compound pentavalent pentavalent antimonial compound antimonial compound is the drug of choice is the drug of choice in most of the endemic regions of the world except Bihar is drug of choice in most of the endemic regions most endemic regions of the world endemic regions of the world okay world except in Bihar except in Bihar where there is resistant to the pentavalent antimonial compound so in uh, Bihar amputation B amputation B in deoxycholate form deoxycholate or liposomal amputation B deoxycholate or liposomal or multifocin or multifocin is preferred okay multifocin is preferred uh, in america in america although pentavalent antimonial compounds are not resistant they are sensitive but in america amputation b is used amputation b is used in deoxycholate form or liposomal form because amputation b amputation b with amputation b the chance of relapse is less the chance of relapse is less so in america was a cell where the cost is seldom an issue liposomal amputation b is a drug of choice and in united states in united states uh, except amputation b except amputation b uh, deoxycholate liposomal formation other drugs are available only from the series only from the series now we will discuss about all these drugs first is the pentavalent pentavalent antimonial compounds pentavalent antimonial compounds these pentavalent antimonial compounds uh, occur in two preparations one is sodium stiboglucanate sodium stiboglucanate stiboglucanate 
gluconate and second is megalumine megalumine antimoniate megalumine antimoniate okay in sodium stibogluconate there is 100 mg of stibogluconate stibogluconate polyamine and in uh, megalumine antimoniate there is 85 mg of stibogluconate polyamine okay and uh, with this antimoniate compound qz is qz is high greater than 90% in most of the endemic regions of the world most of the endemic regions of the world regions except except bihar so bihar where there is resistance where there is resistance okay and it is given as 20 mg per kg by iv or im for 28 to 30 days 28 to 30 days what are the adverse effect that can be associated with the uh, pentabenzene dependent compounds most common adverse effect are arthralgia arthralgia myalgia arthralgia myalgia and increasing immunotransferases increasing immunotransferases okay uh the feared adverse effect is a qt prolongation qt prolongation qtc qtc greater than 0.5 second okay qt prolongation can lead to the ventricular arrhythmia ventricular arrhythmia which can which can lead to sudden death which can lead to sudden death okay so it is a feared complication it is a feared complication of that uh feared adverse effect of the pentavalent antimony compound third adverse effect is a chemical pancreatitis chemical pancreatitis it is also common it is also common but does not require the discontinuation of treatment but usually usually does not require does not require discontinuation of treatment okay and this chemical pancreatitis is severe is severe uh in immunocompromised patient in immunocompromised patients this chemical pancreatitis is severe okay second drug uses second drug uses amputation b okay amputation b amputation b so amputation b is the f- a drug of choice in the br be in the uh, first line of drug whereas in other parts of the world other uh, other in the other parts uh when initial antimonial compound when initial antimonial treatment fails okay uh it occurs in uh, two preparation it can be found in two preparation amputation deoxycholate form and amputation liposomal okay deoxycholate form the adverse effect associated with the deoxycholate form is first is fever with chills okay how we can minimize the fever with chills it can minimize by acetaminophen so acetaminophen should be given along with amputation b so that there is no fever and fever and chills second uh, adverse effect is nausea and vomiting how we can minimize nausea and vomiting by giving antihistamines antihistamines like chlorpheniramine phenylamine okay third adverse effect is the thrombophlebitis thrombophlebitis renal dysfunction renal dysfunction and hypokalemia hypokalemia okay second formulation of amputation amputation is a lipid formulation lipid formulation that is called liposomal amputation b okay liposomal amputation b is preferred preferred over the deoxycholate form why because it is associated with lesser adverse effect lesser adverse effect because the since it is a lipid formulation so it can be easily be taken up by the reticulo endothelial cells endothelial cells so in the reticulo endothelial tissues 
preferentially preferentially take the lipid formulations okay so the uh, the free drug free drug uh, which will cause the toxicity toxicity is very less in these cases okay uh, since most of the tissue most of the drug enters into the reticular endothelial tissue so free drug in the circulation is less so toxicity is so toxicity is less so uh, lipid formulations are preferred over the deoxycholate form okay half life is half life is long half life is long 150 hours half life is long okay and uh, liposomal amputation b liposomal amputation b is the only drug only drug approved by is the only drug approved by us food and drug administration food and drug administration for the treatment of visual leishmaniasis okay it's the only drug approved by uh, us food and drug administration for the treatment of visual leishmaniasis and uh, the dose the dose vary dose vary with the endemic regions and what are the adverse effects that can be associated with the liposomal form liposomal form have mild adverse effects mild adverse effects like uh, infusion reactions infusion reactions headache headache sorry headache uh, sorry backache backache and third is occasional reversible nephropathy nephropathy so it is less toxic and uh, associated with lesser adverse effect whereas uh, the uh, deoxycholate formulation is associated with more adverse effects like fever uh, with chills nausea vomiting thrombophlebitis renal dysfunction whereas uh, the lipid formulation is with milder adverse effect third drug use uh, is paramomycin paramomycin it is an amino aminocyclitol uh, aminoglycoside okay it is approved approved for the treatment of uh, visual leishmaniasis in india in india okay in africa the paramomycin paramomycin is along is used along with the stevoglucanate stevoglucanate for the treatment of visual leishmaniasis uh, in africa okay adverse effect since it is an aminoglycoside it has all the adverse effects associated with the uh, immunoglycosides okay that are ototoxicity ototoxicity nephrotoxicity nephrotoxicity and titani titani okay fourth drug is the multifocin multifocin it's the only drug which can be which is an oral compound oral compound okay first oral compound first oral compound young for multifocin and M for mouth, M for mouth. So it is an oral formulation. Uh, Multifocin is given as uh, for less than 25 kg and for uh, greater than for less than 25 kg, it is given at the dose of 50 mg for 28 days, 28 days, daily dose, daily dose once a day. Okay, once for uh, greater than 25 kg same dose but frequency is increase that is twice a day twice a day okay twice a day for children for children 2 to 11 years of age 2.5 mg per kg for 28 days okay uh, so because of its long half-life multifocin is uh, prone to induce resistance it is prone to induce the resistance in the leishmania but the cure rate cure rate of uh, multifocin is greater than 94 percent in india what are the adverse effects that can be associated with the multifocin the adverse effects are mild to moderate first mild to moderate adverse, adverse effects are vomiting and diarrhea vomiting is present in 40 percent and uh, diarrhea is present in 
20 percent okay and what are the real adverse effect that can be associated with the multifusion the adverse, ad adverse effect has severe allergic dermatitis severe allergic dermatitis hepatotoxicity hepatotoxicity and nephrotoxicity so since the multifusion is expensive expensive and it is associated with the adverse effects adverse effects so it is best uh, administered as directly observed treatment okay it is best administered as administered as directly observed treatment so that the treatment can be completed to ensure to ensure completion of treatment to ensure completion of treatment and to minimize the risk of resistance minimize risk of minimize risk of resistance induction okay and multifusion uh, is contraindicated in pregnancy it is contraindicated in pregnancy it is contraindicated in pregnancy and unless contraceptive measures are strictly added to for at least three months after treatment in the woman of childbearing age. so it is contraindicated in pregnancy and all the all the women of childbearing age childbearing age until 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 contraceptives contraceptives are strictly added for at least for at least three months okay why well, it is contraindicated in pregnancy because it has been found to be teratogenic 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 in rats okay what are the other drugs that are used for the uh, dysmenesis other drugs that have been used for the uh, visual dysmenesis or Kalaza are amputation uh, are ketoconazole ketoconazole sitamaquin sitamaquin mepacrine mepacrine allopurinol allopurinol and urea stibamine okay pentamidine pentamidine so these are the drugs these are all the drugs which have been used for the treatment of visual leishmaniasis uh, multi drug therapy multi drug therapy the concept of multi drug therapy uh, is increasing uh, in case of visual leishmaniasis treatment for the future because the multiple uh, therapy if we can uh, combine the various drugs various drugs then we can reduce the resistance resistance to individual drugs individual drugs individual drugs we can uh, reduce the duration of treatment and if the duration of treatment is uh, zeros then there can be better compliance better compliance and uh, we can reduce the we can reduce the toxicity toxicity associated with associated with drugs so multi drug therapy are being considered are being considered for future are being considered for future but but currently they are not used thank you